Good afternoon. Welcome to our session on the Indian consumer. I'm really proud and happy to introduce a very dear friend and also a very well-known author and writer and photographer from India, Siddharth Dhanwant Sanghvi. And uh, he is an author of internationally best-selling novels, The Last Song of Dusk and The Lost Flamingos of Bombay. Siddharth has also written for the New York Times, for Time, Vogue, Elle and other publications. He's a winner of Britain's Betty Tusk Award and Italy's Premio Grinzane Cavour. He has been nominated for Ireland's Impact Award, translated into 16 languages. Sangvi lives in Bombay and Goa, where he is an honorary director of one of India's foremost art foundations, Sunapatra. Ladies and gentlemen, Siddharth Sangvi. Good afternoon, people. Hi, Tharun. Thank you very much for missing my speech. Uh, um, so I guess you, the first thing and the f most important thing is that you have to bring me back because I bring the Goa weather with me wherever I go. So that is, that is an absolute mandate. Uh, in the, uh, Sanju, I hope you're going to contractualize that. Um, and of course, I decided to let you experience the full glory of the Swedish uh, sunlight by packing you all in uh, a dark room with no natural light. So I hope you're proud of how counterintuitive I can also be. Um, I guess you're wondering, what is a writer uh, and, um, uh, and a photo artist doing on a panel about um, consumer relations and trade between India and Sweden? And quite frankly, I have been asking myself the same question. I think um, the, the, um, the cop-out answer uh, is that someone dropped out and <laughs> Sanju wrote me in last minute. But, um, but maybe, you know, uh, there was another way of uh, coming to the equation and that was that writers are engaging in different kinds of transactions. Uh, they're emotional, psychological, imaginative uh, transactions. So maybe one can bring about uh, the resonance of that trade that's ineffable, that you cannot always quantify. And how lucky I am to have um, it, the entirely um, um, antithetical to, the, to, to my craft, to people who actually work with tangible things and services on this panel. So it's a real gift for me to be able to hear them and possibly also to be able to learn and take something away. So Anisha Singh is the founder and CEO of Maidal. I was seated next to her at dinner last night and uh, she was so brilliant and charming and beautiful and funny that the only reasonable thing that I could do was to leave because I was so <laughs> intimidated. But <laughs> I promise you I won't. Uh, so, Anisha, if you'd like to come on up. <laughs> um, Patrick Antoni is the Corporate Communication and a Sustainability Manager at uh, IKEA. Patrick does not know this yet, but he's my new best friend. This is because he is also uh, uh, heading, um, you know, the, uh, the bringing IKEA, really, in, in a sense, to, to India and, and helping it come to life in Hyderabad. Uh, and, and what I'm going to try and, and, and do is find out if there's a secret way to, to hack the IKEA checkout line. So you have to give me that before we leave. Uh, Tarun Tahiliani, a fashion designer um, who is extraordinarily sober this afternoon, uh, in a way that I have never seen him before. <laughs> Uh, is a design guru who warrants almost no introduction. I do wish, and I said this to Sanju before, I do wish his sister, Tina, who is a dear friend of mine in Bombay, I do wish she was here because she's, in a sense, uh, the genius, the brains behind bringing Tarun's genius to life, the crea a creative force. So Tarun, please, do come up. I promise to bring out a whiskey flask as soon as you sit down right here. Um, Anna uh, Leberg is Trade Commissioner to India as well as Head of Business Sweden. Uh, the Swedish Trade and Invest Council in India. Uh, and I just want to tell you something that, you know, your country is doing something really right because I'm 22 kilos excess baggage as I'm going back. So <laughs> as far as trade between uh, Sweden and India uh, goes, you know, you're really winning. So please come on up. <clears throat> and of course, Rajiv Samanth, uh, Stanford uh, alumni, Goa lover like me, um, and founder of Sula Vineyards. I grew up drinking his wine since the age of four. 
and I'm still alive. So it's a testament to how good it is. Uh, Rajiv, the little blood that flows in my veins, I owe to my parents and the rest to you. So ladies and gentlemen, please help me welcome this distinguished panel of guests. <clears throat> um, I've been advised to um, encourage each of my guests to speak for 10 minutes. Um, and after that, there's this magic button that comes and they explode. So uh, I'm going to start with Anisha and, and have her whole court for, for 10 minutes uh, and then we'll move on.